Nah, Boosie is a hoe. Boosie is a motherfucking bitch. And I bit it. Nigga, that bitch ass nigga went to jail whining and crying. Y'all come at him. Dog, that nigga got that pussy, y'all. Dog, boy, I'm saying, I want to say thank you to the United States federal government for bringing that hoe out of Boosie. I just want to say right now this morning to the United States federal government, I just want to say I thank y'all and I appreciate y'all for showing our kids that Boosie Boo is a Boosie hoe. He can't do no motherfucking time. That nigga go to crying and telling on niggas. Oh, I've been praying to the Lord. Nigga, I ain't prayed to the Lord in so goddamn long when I'm doing wrong. Nigga, fuck the Lord when I'm doing wrong. Yeah, nigga, fuck the Lord. Fuck the Lord, Boosie. Bad as you talk, you done kill nigga, remember? Stand on that G shit. You wanted, you wanted Gunna to stay in there like you couldn't stay in there. You wanted Gunna to stay in jail and you in jail blistering up your knees like you ready to suck dick. You gonna suck God's dick, boosie? Get off your knees, nigga. You ain't got to get on your knees to talk to God. Get off your motherfucking knees. You really wanna suck some dick, nigga. Get off your motherfucking knees. I was on my knee blistering. No, you wasn't. You trying to suck some dick, boost, because they wouldn't feed you. That diabetes medicine, that, that they wouldn't give you no food. I told you when your motherfucking ass went to jail, boosie, they wasn't going to give you no food, and that motherfucking diabetes going to kick in. I told you the motherfucking diabetes going to go to your little ass when you go to jail. You can't be tough in jail, Boosie. So stop talking that tough guy shit out of jail and survive without no Mexicans and niggas handing you shit, nigga. You need to stop talking gangster. Right now today, Boosie, you and Vlad TV better not say now nah, another gangster video. Nigga, please. You done broke pussy. You done broke weak, boy. The Boosie I know. The Boosie the boosted motherfucking badass I know wouldn't have been crying, nigga. Nigga would have been biting down saying, I'm with the shit, nigga. They ain't got to give me a motherfucking thing, nigga. Nigga, I ain't nigga. Y'all, they done broke him, y'all. Boosie, bo. They done broke him. They done broke that. They done broke that government dick off in his ass. Now he hollering. He talking about they mystery. When did gangsters start complaining? Nigga, when did gangsters start complaining and filing grievances? Hey, y'all, I need y'all to protest. I need y'all to protest for me. Nigga, ain't nobody protesting for no bitch ass nigga crying because the government won't give him no commissary. You get you eating out the chow hall, ain't you, boy? Wasn't they giving you food out the chow hall? Dewberry Boosie is a hoe. Bitch ass nigga crying. They ain't even had that nigga say, man, that nigga Boosie is a straight up bitch. Nigga, boy, somebody should have fucked you while you was in there. They say the Serenio was looking out for me. Nigga, I ain't, nigga, don't want no help from no Mexicans, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? I thought when they went to jail, everything was racist. Pussy ass, nigga. I told y'all Boosie got that pussy, y'all. I told y'all Boosie got that pussy. Boosie got that pussy. I told y'all these whole ass niggas to go to jail and go to Hollywood. I lay on their belly and let a nigga play in the asshole. Boosie one them on. I was on my so I was on my knees so much praying to the Lord. Boosie, the Lord can't hear you. That's why you got diabetes. That's why that cancer is in remission. That cancer ain't went away. That cancer. Yeah, that cancer coming back, Boosie. You got too much stress on your motherfucking ass. And them white folks for the brain that cancer and it's fit to flare up on your motherfucking ass, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? Ah, and it's over with. They did not drop the charge. I'm praying right now that them white folks frame your ass for something. Yeah, you just, I want to make them see you holler. I want them motherfucker to make Boosie motherfucking ass holler your father. You didn't have no support, nigga. You had two niggas out there up on that. Didn't nobody show up to support you. They didn't write no letters to the prosecutor, to the judge. Didn't nobody do nothing, Boosie. Now, they served some shit online, but didn't nobody try to help your motherfucking ass. I sat back and watched, nigga. So don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted, Boosie, boo. Didn't nobody come out there and protest for your long forehead ass while you was in there crying, getting patted on the back by other people. Ah. <laughs> ah, ah, that nigga come out of jail with tears in his eye. 
<laughs> I would have cried too, little boo. Y'all, Dewberry, say Boosie got out of jail crying. You hear me, Dewberry? He was crying. I thought when you go to jail, Mexicans and black people don't like each other. Yeah, what I thought. When did niggas start going to jail making friends with Mexicans? And know the California Mexicans don't like niggas. Boots is lying like a motherfucker. <laughs> Nigga, please, don't nobody like you out there, nigga. Boots it. I thought the Mexicans do the niggas bad in jail. I thought that's who I thought the whites do. Everybody, man, well, you ain't no real nigga. Because if I go to jail, I don't want no help from nobody but my people. Because I know when I leave here, they going to go back to killing my people. They go, go, man, man, I don't want to be friends with Mexicans in jail. I don't want to be friends with white boys in jail. That's what convicts and inmates and criminals don't do. Only law-abiding people don't stick to those rules. Boy, I was so happy when Boosie went to jail. Oh, I was so happy when his son Tootie went to jail. Oh, boy, I was just so happy. Everything Boosie-related goes to jail. I just celebrate and I be happy. Oh, man. Say, boy, I'm telling you, boosy, boosy, boo. Now, he ain't out the clear now, y'all. Don't y'all forget. He still got these charges pending, and they want his motherfucking ass. Boosy still got some murders that they still want him on, and they trying to get him on these goddamn murders. And if they can't get him on these goddamn murders, they want him on this felony possession of a gun charge. Now, they fit to come back and get Boosie motherfucking ass. They fit to get that motherfucking security guard to turn on Boosie. And that security guard go turn on Boosie motherfucking ass. He fit to go back to crime. Boosie is not as tough as y'all think he is. If a nigga take his motherfucking ass to jail and go to crime when he get out of jail, that nigga would tell to get out of jail. So don't let Boosie think y'all think y'all he really ain't no nigga that'll tell. Nigga go to jail and drop to his knees and go to praying to God. He said, nigga, tell on somebody. I ain't never in my life been to jail. And drop to my knees and pray till I got blisters. I'm going to run to the phone and call mama, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? And let mama go talk to God. I know I done done wrong. No, 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 no. What fuck I'm going to drop to my knees for? And God said you have to repent. You cannot be lukewarm. God does not like lukewarm people. You cannot straddle the fence with God. You either good or you're evil. And Boosie believes in killers getting away. Boosie believe in killers getting away. You think God ain't mad at you, Boosie, when you went to YMW's melee trial and made those victims hurt like that? You think God, you think God was happy with you, Boosie? Fuck is you talking about? That's why God allowed these people to do this to you. Because God wants your ass, Boosie. You cannot promote death and killing of God's people and not have a repentance in your heart. Boosie have not repented for all the murders that he's caused. He's still upholding murderers. He's going to have to pay. Boosie, you're going to have to pay, boy. Marlo Mike, you think you just going to go live life and you don't have to pay for the suffering of Marlo Mike? Ma, you think your God ain't gonna just punish you? You think your God heard you, nigga? No, 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 Boosie. You finna get some blisters in your ass, too, now, boy. You think them blisters on your knees or something? Boy, them motherfucking FBI finna put some pressure down on your motherfucking ass. Boy, your lips finna go to cracking in the corner again. Them, you know where that part where he get whited around his mouth in that corner? Them motherfuckers finna go to cracking. Yeah, that nigga, man, don't nobody, man, nobody, Boosie don't believe in no motherfucking God, plenty of people, he cannot have a God and you don't kill as many people, you have to repent before the world, God says turn away from your wicked ways, Boosie have not turned away from his wicked ways, so there's no God on Boosie's side, that's why his daughter gay, his son stupid and gangster, and he back in jail and his father, there's no God on Boosie's side, y'all. There's no God on Boosie's side. He got a gay daughter, a gangster gay son. Say, there's no God on Boosie's side. PMB Rock? Don't forget about 
Boosie had something to do with PMB Rock? No, no, that's the that's the uh, Drake Jake the Jeweler. Jake the Jeweler. Yeah, yeah, that's the Jeweler boy. Boosie had something to do with the Jeweler boy being killed with the gambling thing. Man, I'm telling you, there's too much death around Boosie for it to be a god. God cannot hear Boosie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a, that was somebody playing like God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a make that was. <laughs> I love to see these gangster niggas. I love to see these gangster niggas turn gay. I'm sorry. I love to see these gangster niggas turn human. <laughs> I ain't never seen Al Poe didn't get out of jail crime. You say what the fuck you want to say about Al Poe, Boosie. Al Poe didn't get out of jail crying, nigga. Say what you want to say about Ghana, Boosie. Ghana didn't get out of jail crying. Talking about, oh, I was praying to the Lord. Ghana had a big booty bitch come pick him up, Boosie. <laughs> I'm talking about Ghana did not leave up out of jail crying. Talking about I got blisters on my knees. What kind of shit is that, nigga? Say, listen, we stripping Boosie from his gangster card. Tell him come on over here with us has been niggas. Yeah, come on over here with the has been, Boosie. You a has been, nigga. Nigga, get out of jail crying and praising the Lord. Nigga, you know what you need to start doing? Making gospel music for the Lord then. Go on and start making gospel music for the Lord since you got the Lord blistering your knees up, nigga. I'll be damned if I blister my knees up praying to the Lord. I'm going to start to think he can't hit me. Yeah, God got me on my motherfucking knees. Nigga, fuck are you stand I'm going to stand up and lift my hands to the Lord. Yeah, I'm going to stand up, Boosie, and reach my hands and cry out to the Lord. I ain't getting on my knees for now, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, I don't want no Lord that got me breaking down to my knees, blistering up. <laughs> I don't want that Lord. Lord, please. <laughs> Lord, if I can pray to you sitting at the table with my head bowed, praying over the food, why I can't pray like that at the table there, Lord? Why I got to get on my knees like I want to suck your dick, God? I don't want to get on my knees. God, I'm not a dick sucker. I want to stand up and talk to you man to man, God. <laughs> Boosie, <laughs> Say, let us see what them knees look like, Boosie. Put some lotion on them fur, cause we don't want them looking like the side of your mouth. Say, Boosie. Say, listen, go put some, go put some motherfucking me up. Uh, what's that shit called? Neosporin on them knees, boy. Let us see if they really blistered up. Oh, you lying, uh, cause you know you're a lying, motherfucker. Now, you know you're a lying, motherfucker. When you get in trouble. And hey, we don't know nothing about you, Boosie. You a lying motherfucker when you get in trouble, boy. <laughs> ah, that nigga Boosie got his tough ass out of jail with them tears in his eye. I called that nigga. That nigga, that jail got his eyes squinching. It's doing what he in there with that eye squinching shit? <laughs> them up eye squinching and them goddamn tears running out the side of it. Hollering about, oh Lord, oh Lord, I don't want to do no wrong. Don't that boy got a song called Lord, I don't want to do no wrong? <laughs> Oh, nigga, you still a little boosy, I see. <laughs> you ain't growed up yet, boosy. Yeah, he's still a little boosy. Yeah, boy ain't growed up yet. Leah boosy, Leah boosy, Leah tootie. It's a whole bunch of Leahs over there. Leah bitty boosy. Leah bitty tootie. Yeah, yeah, I ain't getting nothing on my knees for a motherfucking thing, nigga. I, nigga, I stopped scraping my knees up. We were playing football, little boy. Fuck, I'm going to go back to bothering my knees for. Yeah, fuck, I'm going to go back to bothering my knees for. Because I done got in trouble. I done got caught down bad with a gun, hanging with some gangsters. Listen to me, boys and girls. What y'all see Lil Boosie doing is a clear example of a man not accepting responsibility for his actions and not holding himself accountable for getting caught doing wrong. Now, Boosie, this is what we want you to remind you. Now, we know you got you a good lawyer, but this is where you fucked up at, boy. You pleaded guilty in state court for a felony possession of a firearm. I'm going to say it again, boys and girls. Terrence Hatch Jr. fucked up 
in court by pleading guilty to a state felony possession of a firearm. That's all the feds need to do to get his little long head ass. The boy already pled guilty. So you mean to tell me he ain't go dangle, take that guilty plea over here in federal court and says, listen, federal magistrate, he did plead guilty over here. We got him. So Boosie's just buying time, that's all, y'all. But the feds on his ass, he's out on that federal bond probation. And guess what? He can't drink, he can't smoke, he can't do nothing but take his diabetic medicine and hope it give him a high. He got to go to one of them doctors and play like he in that diabetic pain so they can prescribe him some of them Percocets so he can get high popping pill. But Boosie can't smoke weed right now, so he fucked up. Nigga know how they have been smoking weed long as that nigga been smoking and got to stop. Can't drink because they call him in, drug testing. Ooh, they for to put that foot on his neck, y'all. He in a little situation right now, so don't think it's easy. He got to go back to praying now. He can't stop praying because it ain't over with. He can't stop praying, y'all. He can't stop praying. Now, I know most of y'all don't believe in no God. Most of y'all ain't got no God. So don't y'all pray with him because won't nobody hear y'all. Y'all prayers can't be heard neither. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, look at all, look at all these boosty fans and everyone they feel is hurt because I'm making fun of that nigga because he crying because he got out of jail. That nigga got out with tears in his eyes and that nigga was white around the mouth like turkey meat. That nigga lip was white. I thought that nigga had white lip lining on. I thought Lil Boosie had white lip lining on. Wait, boy, that my boy was white around the mouth like that turkey meat be looking when you get it out that packet. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't worry about it, boys and girls. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, that's some early morning football playing. That's that Saturday morning football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody tag Lil Boosie in this. I want him to hear every word of this here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want everybody that love him to hear this. I want everybody to support him to hear this. Just know, nigga, when you go to jail, don't cry to get out of jail. Nigga, just pay pay what you done done wrong. Yeah, all of a sudden, you, ain't, you wasn't talking God talk before you went to jail when you were standing behind them killers. When you were sitting behind that killer. Who's, who, who don't have no remorse for killing his victims. You mean to tell me you was talking to God because God would have told you, man, support the victims. Man, you cannot. You cannot be lukewarm. God spits out lukewarm people like Boosie. No, 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 no. You have to repent and turn away from your wicked ways, boys and girls, in order for God to be able to hear you. God didn't hear Boosie. The judge let Boosie out. God didn't have a motherfucking thing to do with Boosie. Boosie ain't got no motherfucking God, nigga. He ain't came out and asked God to forgive him for the lives he took and came before the world. Don't no light shine through Boosie to help people go to God. Boosie lead everybody to the devil. Boosie lyrics lead everybody to jail and hell. Boosie lyrics make you go kill other people. Nigga, Boosie don't have not one song that uplifts a spirit towards the God that he's talking about he prayed to. Not one. Not, they say, listen, the Bible says that you can tell a truth, you can tell a tree by the fruit in which it's bare. Look at the fruit that Boosie bare. Do you see good fruit in Boosie? His son's going to jail, his daughter gay, his friends being killed, his friends go to jail. Where is the good fruit in Boosie's life that he want us to believe he got a God? He don't never make no reference to God when he's not in trouble. When he on Blad TV, he don't even talk about God. He said God want people to go to jail. God wanted you to go to jail, Boosie. Remember that come out of your mouth, Boosie. God didn't want you to get away. Remember, did nobody have to snitch on you? Look how this happened, y'all. This nigga got paid to do a video amongst gangbangers in a gangbanging hood. The police don't even know this man got a gun on him. This just was a fluke. By the grace of God, somebody just so happened to upload a video on Instagram. This was by the grace of God that the police was able to find Boosie with a gun. Not only would they see the gun in Boosie's back pocket, by the grace of God, they was able to put, to put together a helicopter and an aerial surveillance team to not only see Boosie with the gun, but catch Boosie with the same gun that they saw on the video. Not only that, look at the circumstances surrounding how they found the gun. The gun was supposed to be in the motherfucking backpack with the security guard gun, but it wasn't. It was in the back seat with Boosie. The police seen 
seen Boosie moving because that's what they know to look for. They already know it's a gun in the car. But Boosie don't know they know it's a gun in the car. Guess what? He don't have time to stash the gun. God let them motherfucking police find the gun. Thank you, Father God, in the name of Jesus for favor on the police's part. Thank you for giving the police favor, Father God, to catch Boosie with a goddamn gun. A known killer. A, a, a well-known, respected serial killer. Praise God. Hallelujah. So not only that, they hear Boosie tell the motherfucking security guard, nigga, you going in a body bag if you don't claim. Thank you, Father God, for favor for the police. Now, Boosie done been caught with a gun. He been been hurt. All of this is God's doing. Thank you, God. We wake up right now. We just give God all honor and praises for kissing Boosie motherfucking ass with a gun. And the world get to watch him suffer. The world get to watch him sweat. The world get to watch him go through what he go through as a gangster. Upholding gangster rules. Gangster codes. And, and, and gangster ethics. And gangsters ideology. So now we get to watch a gangster cry before the world. Boy, we ain't never seen a gangster cry, have we, y'all? About jail. And they talking like they can do life in prison without telling. They they talking like they can do 40 years in jail without telling. And this nigga wasn't even in jail five motherfucking days. This nigga come out of jail with tears in his ass. And it, oh. <laughs> Break them down, God. Break them down. Show these kids that that image and that demonic force that's called gangsterism and street codes can't defeat goodness. They can't beat righteousness, God. Show them, God. Show them that they got to repent and turn away from their wicked ways which is the streets or else they cannot have a God in their life.